Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install TWRP Custom Recovery onto your Samsung Galaxy Tab 4.10.1. So, um, before I show you how to do it, I'm just going to explain what TWRP Custom Recovery is. Basically, it's a custom recovery which allows you to flash and install custom ROMs like Signage and Mod. Um, also, it allows you to install custom kernels, custom themes. It also allows you to back up your stock firmware and you can also use it to restore at a later date. So it's it's really handy. So um, to install this, you will need to have Samsung keys installed onto your PC. If you don't have Samsung keys installed, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Just make sure you go ahead and install Samsung keys. Also, you're going to need to download Odin. So, um... I'll leave a link to Odin in the description down below also. So once you download Odin, it'll be a zip file. Just right click on it and extract it onto your desktop. And it's going to create a folder just like this. And inside the folder, you'll see the Odin launcher there. You'll also see this CF auto root file, but you won't need this unless you're going to root. So this is all you're going to need, just the Odin launcher there. Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is head on over to the XDA developers website here, because this is where you're going to download the TWRP file from, recovery file. So just go ahead and select this link here, just click on it, recovery tar, it's a 9.5. 58 megabyte file just go ahead and click on it it'll start to download save it on your desktop i've already saved it here it is on my desktop <clears throat> so now we're just gonna open up odin so let's just launch it okay so now on your tablet we need to go into download mode, so just power off your tablet. So hit power off. Okay, so once it's fully off, we're going to put the tablet into download mode. So to put the tablet into download mode, you're just going to press the volume down button on the side, along with the home button here. So home, volume down and power all at once. Until you see this warning. Now just press the volume down to continue, I mean volume up, sorry, to continue. And now it should say downloading. Okay, so now just plug in your USB cable into your tablet. So just plug it in there. Just like that. So this is how it, your tablet's display should look. It should have this download and do not turn off message there. And this is how Odin should look. Where it says ID come here, it should be blue. If it's not blue, that means you've not installed the Samsung drivers properly. So like I says, to install the Samsung drivers, you will need to install Samsung keys. So just double check that you've installed Samsung keys um, and then reconnect to Odin. And this should then turn blue because Samsung keys do provide the drivers. So like I said, make sure keys is installed and then reconnect to Odin and then it should turn blue if yours is gray. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and locate the recovery file, which 
we downloaded from the XTA website and which we stored on our desktop. So this is the file here. Where it says auto reboot, F reset time, make sure those two boxes are ticked and everything else is unchecked. And where it says message here, make sure it says added. Now just go ahead and select PDA. And we're just gonna locate the recovery file. And there it is. So we're just gonna click on that. Now just go ahead and hit start. It's gonna flash really quickly. So as you can see, it's flashing there. And then your tablet's gonna reboot. Okay, now you can just go ahead and close Odin down. Okay, so now just power off your tablet once again. And now we're gonna go into the TWRP menu. So to do that, just press the volume up button along with the home button and the power. So volume up, home button and power all at once. Until it says team win. And as you can see, we're now in team win recovery mode. And from here, you can install, backup, restore, wipe, mount, settings, advanced, and you can also reboot. You can reboot to the recovery to the bootloader. You can also power off or you can reboot the system. So yeah, this was just a quick video showing you all how to install TWRP custom recovery onto your Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 10.1. You can now go ahead and install custom ROMs, um, themes, kernels, whatever you want. So anyway, that's it for the video. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Android Doctor for plenty more videos. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Deuces.